So I'm going to show you why my virtual background is not working and what I can possibly do to fix it. Well, there's not actually a lot that I can do, but I'm going to go into Zoom here. And now you can see that I go to Preferences here. And here's my virtual background. And hello. Now I want to click, I want to add a virtual background. It says I have a green screen. In fact, I don't. But let me add a an image that I've just downloaded from unsplash.com. This one here. So there's a nice mountain image. And so look at my ghost video, you can see. So how do I fix that? Well, I could have a green screen behind me, like a real physical green screen, which I don't have. Let me just uh, turn that off just to show you. I do not have a green screen there. Um, it's just, just a, a blank wall, right? I could get go and buy a green screen. Or else I could say, so let me just uh, pick that image again. And there's the ghost image again. Now, when I click, I have a green screen. If I uncheck that because I don't have one, look at the message, the warning message I get. To use virtual background without a green screen, your Mac OS version needs to be 10.13 or higher. And your processor must be an Intel Core i5 with a quad core or better. I don't know what that means, but here's how I would find it out on my Mac. So I'm going to hit OK here. I'm going to turn off my my back my virtual background because that's annoying you and now what i'm going to go do is go to apple here see up on top here and about this mac and this is going to show me uh, let me close this off so this is going to show me that i needed to be at 10.13 i'm actually higher than that i'm at 10.15.4 but if you're not at that, then you're going to click Software Update. Now, that's beyond the scope of this video. Now, the other thing that they said, let me just go back into, into Zoom, was the kind of processor that I need. Let me go into, so that's actually the hardware. So what I'm actually buying, so let me go over to here, Virtual Background, and look at this message I get. 10.13, well, I'm already at 10.15, so that's good. And your processor must be an Intel Core i5 with a quad core or better. Let me go back and see if I'm a quad core processor, right? i5, but this is dual core. So obviously quad core is four, dual core is only two. So I'm working off a very old MacBook Pro. So that means that even though my v version of my operating system is up to date, um, I, I would need to buy a different laptop, a different PC or a laptop to, uh, to be able to get this virtual background to work. So a little bit disappointing. I'm sorry I don't have a solution for you if you have the same problem as me, other than to go and buy some new hardware. But at least that shows you through the problem solving, the troubleshooting process that I have done. One more thing that I need to show you which is that my version of Zoom uh, also it's, it's worth updating and I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. And I go check for updates, okay? And it actually said, um, actually it says that there is a new version available. So I'm on this version here, that's version five and I'm currently on version four. So let's just update that right now. And that doesn't actually seem to have anything about the virtual background thing. Anyway, that's fine. I'm just going to click update anyway. <clears throat> so you can see how easy that is. And then I'll probably need to start Zoom again just to, to, to test the virtual background. So version 4 to version 5 is pretty big. So this is actually around uh, a lot of things to do with security by the looks of it. So I'm just going to go install here. Continue. I'm going to go with my 88 megabytes, which is not much. So there we are. And now, if I check my version of Zoom now, now. 
As you can understand, I'm already at, at the uh, at version 5. Try the virtual background again. And I'm going to choose this, add virtual background. Don't think this is going to work, but we'll try. Still the same problem. Okay, now I could manually pick the background of my wall. Actually, that's the manual background of my wall. If the detected color is accurate, which it is. But if I select this, I've still got a problem. If I turn off, I have a green screen, still got the same problem. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful, even if it's a bit disappointing, that you look like a ghost. <laughs>